with new developments in a lawsuit filed against a Valley School superintendent claiming she was overcompensated nearly $2 million. The Buckeye Elementary Governing Board held a meeting tonight just days after that lawsuit came to light. And as ABC 15's Ashley Holden found out, the district is not backing down. The district only giving me a statement calling the lawsuit misleading and inaccurate. Teachers who came here to the meeting telling us that they are frustrated and want transparency. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. The first meeting since former Attorney General Mark Burnovich announced a lawsuit against the Buckeye Elementary School District, and the only place the district had it on the agenda Monday was in executive session. When the whole lawsuit came out, it was like a slap in the face, like nobody knew what was going on. That lawsuit stems from a 2022 report from the Arizona Auditor General that says the district superintendent, Christy Wilson, was paid more than $1.7 million in additional compensation over the last five years. We need extra Paris support and I just think of those people that you know were trying to make ends meet on minimum wage and the job that they do. Considering what we make after 14 years of teaching I just barely scratched um, the $50,000 mark and, and to hear that it was very disheartening. Teachers who came to the meeting saying their trust is broken. No public discussion about this. Does that concern you guys as well? It does just because it always seems like something's um, going on and we have no knowledge of it. The district while in executive session sending me a new statement saying they have allowed Wilson to buy back retirement credits that weren't transferable from her previous state, insisting much of the money went to the state retirement system or the IRS. They also say those benefits have now ended, putting the superintendent's base salary below the median for a district of their size. After the meeting ended, the superintendent saying she wasn't going to talk with us. There's no one from the district that can give us any kind of My statement. Was you that. He did. We just have some questions. So are those only going to be responded to through email or right. we have sent the district an additional list of questions. Teachers that we spoke with hoping that the new attorney general Chris Mays will take up this case. We did reach out to her office on Monday and are hoping to get an update in Buckeye. Ashley holds in ABC 15 Arizona. Ashley, thank you. So